right, welcome to part 9 of modding the original Xbox. Today we're going to talk about thermal paste. On the right here we have the heat sink for the CPU and on the left we have the heat sink for the GPU. We're going to go ahead and remove these heat sinks and apply a new thermal paste underneath. So before you start this project, be sure that you have Arctic Clean Thermal Compound Remover as you're going to need to remove the old thermal paste. Now the old thermal paste is not going to come off with rubbing alcohol. It will only come off with this thermal compound remover. So before you start this project, be sure you have this. Do not use WD-40 or any other oil-based cleaner. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to remove the retainer on top of the GPU heat sink. You have to be very careful you don't break this. Just bend it enough just to get it off the latch. Now I'm trying to remove the heat sink but it's actually really hard to remove. It's stuck on quite a bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to power on the Xbox with just the video and the power cable plugged in. After a few minutes the thermal paste underneath should warm up and you should be able to remove the heat sink. I'd strongly recommend you use this method for removing the heat sink as if you decide to use a heat gun you could very easily damage nearby components on the motherboard. Powering on the Xbox and then removing the heat sink off the GPU is the best method for this. So I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, motherboard screw just to help hold the motherboard in place and then as soon as I remove the heat sink I'm pulling power to the Xbox so that the GPU does not overheat. Now that the GPU heat sink has been removed you should also go ahead and lift the latch up for the CPU heat sink and then just remove the retainer. You can use a slotted screwdriver to help you bend the retainer slightly to remove it but just be careful not to bend it too much otherwise you may damage it. Okay here we are underneath the inspection camera and we are looking at the CPU here. We need to apply some Arctic Clean Thermal Material Remover number one. We're gonna wait about 60 seconds and after 60 seconds we should be able to scrub away all the old thermal paste with a Q-tip. There's some thermal paste that's still kind of applied to the corners of this chip. So what I've been doing is using kind of a pick to clean off this thermal paste. After that, you can use Arctic Clean 2 Thermal Surface Purifier and just apply this and wipe it off. Now on the bottom of the CPU heatsink, I'm going to go ahead and apply Arctic Clean 1 again and remove all the old thermal paste on the bottom of this heatsink. And now after everything has been wiped away, we got a nice clean surface. We're going to apply Arctic Clean 2 to purify the surface of the heatsink. You can now apply a blob of thermal paste onto your CPU. You want to get about a pea sized shape. You can then reattach the retainer for the heat sink and latch it down. And here is the bottom of the GPU heat sink. We're going to follow all the same steps for removing the old thermal paste.
And now here is the top of the GPU. For the GPU, you're going to want to apply a little bit more thermal paste than what you would apply for the CPU. I'm going to press the heat sink down on top of the GPU and then lift it up real quick to verify that the thermal paste had spread evenly across the GPU. And it looks like it has here. That's all that there is to it. Just reapply the retainer to the GPU and you should be all set. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.